Salford Council is prosecuting two firms which install cigarette vending machines in a case that accuses them of failing to make sure that everyone who uses them is over 18. It's as a result of an undercover operation in the borough last year in which 15 pubs were targeted by underage volunteers who attempted to buy cigarettes. They succeeded in doing so from 12 pub machines. The case against the distributors is one of the first in the country and is being supported by anti-smoking campaigners. It's thought that around 17% of underage smokers use vending machines regularly and Salford Council is hoping to make it more difficult for the companies to profit from these sales. It is the responsibility of the vending machine owners. I, I think it's just one of the um, areas that needs tightening up on. You know, um, the government's done a huge amount to restrict smoking by young people, uh, and it is making a difference. You know, it, but uh, but it, it's still a problem. There's still a lot of underage smokers, and we we know in Salford that uh, we did a survey in 2006, and about 12% of our 11 to 16 year olds are smoking, compared to the national average of 9%. So, uh, so vending machines are part of the problem. The Trading Standards Department at Salford Council has said that in the long term they won't just be concentrating on the distributors of cigarette vending machines, but that in the long term they'll also be looking more closely at the conduct of breweries and pub owners in their bid to make it more difficult for underage smokers to buy cigarettes. Every little, little action that takes place does have, a, have an effect. I mean, it, it ma- you know, if I was a shopkeeper who was being prosecuted for underage sales, I'd be pretty annoyed that other people could get away with it. Salford and Lancashire County Council are the only local authorities in the country to prosecute the distributors of the cigarette vending machines in the hope of reducing the number of children taking up smoking. If the court case succeeds, the equipment could be banned from pubs and clubs nationally. Georgia Calvin-Smith, Channel M News.